Maximinus Thrax, also known as Gaius Julius Verus Maximinus, was a Roman emperor who ruled from 235 to 238 AD. He is often remembered for being the first emperor who never set foot in Rome during his reign and for his rise from humble origins to the pinnacle of Roman power. Maximinus was born in the late 2nd century AD, likely around 173 AD, in the region of Thrace, or Moesia, which is part of modern-day Bulgaria or Serbia. His background was considered barbarian by Roman standards, as he was of Thracian or Gothic descent, and his father was a Goth while his mother was an Alan, a nomadic people from the steppes of Central Asia. Maximinus started his career in the Roman army, where he gained a reputation for his extraordinary physical strength and size. Ancient sources claim he was over eight feet tall, though this is likely an exaggeration. His military prowess allowed him to rise quickly through the ranks. During the reign of Emperor Severus Alexander, Maximinus became a prominent military commander. He commanded the Pannonian legions and was instrumental in defending the empire's borders against Germanic tribes. In 235 AD, after Severus Alexander was assassinated by his own troops, Maximinus was proclaimed emperor by the legions stationed in the Rhine region. His rise to power marked the beginning of the so-called crisis of the third century, a period of political instability and military anarchy in the Roman Empire. Maximinus's rule was characterized by his focus on military matters and his disregard for the Roman Senate, which made him unpopular among the Roman elite. He imposed heavy taxes to finance his military campaigns, leading to widespread dissatisfaction. Maximinus spent most of his reign on military campaigns, particularly against the Germanic tribes. He also launched campaigns against the Dacians and the Sarmatians, securing victories that helped stabilize the empire's frontiers. However, his heavy-handed approach to governance and his reliance on the military to maintain power made him many enemies. In 238 AD, discontent with Maximinus's rule culminated in a rebellion. The Senate in Rome, in collaboration with landowners in North Africa, supported a revolt led by Gordian I and Gordian II, who were declared co-emperors. Although the Gordians were defeated and killed, the Senate continued to oppose Maximinus by declaring two new emperors, Pupienus and Balbinus. Maximinus marched towards Italy to suppress this opposition, but his forces encountered stiff resistance, particularly in the city of Aquileia. As Maximinus laid siege to Aquileia, his troops grew disillusioned due to supply shortages and the prolonged campaign. In May 238 AD, they finally turned against him, assassinating him and his son Maximus. Their heads were sent to Rome as a sign of the rebellion's success, marking the end of Maximinus's brief and tumultuous reign. Maximinus Thrax's rule is often seen as a turning point in Roman history, marking the beginning of a period of rapid imperial turnover and internal strife that would eventually lead to significant reforms under later emperors like Diocletian. Despite his military successes, his reign is often viewed negatively due to his autocratic methods and the instability that followed his rise to power.